everyone, welcome to News at This Hour. I'm your host Rika Roy and this is our top story. ED's interrogation of Sharad Pawar's grandnephew and NCP MLA Rohit Pawar has ended after 11 long hours. The former union minister and his relatives were booked in August 2019 in a money laundering case in connection with 25,000 crore bank scam. Many party leaders, including Supriya Sule and Jitendra Awad, received uh, Rohit Pawar from the ED office. ED officials, in fact, had started interrogating him at 10.30 a.m. today. I'm joined by my colleague, uh, Ronak Kukre, at this hour for more on the story. Uh, Ronak, tell us... Uh, what are you hearing? What was he questioned on? And uh, will he be summoned once again? Ji, dekhi, Rika, jo abhi jankari mil rahe, uske mutabik, ek farwari ko fir ek bar is pure mamle mein Rohit Pawar ko summons jo hai, ED ne diya hua hai. लेकिन ये पूरा मामला मैं आपको बता दूं कि महाराष्ट्र स्टेट कोऑपरेटिव बैंक का एक कथित घोटाला है जिसमें 2019 में मुंबई पुलिस की आर्थिक अपराध शाखा ने ये मामला दर्ज किया था लगभग 42 लोगों के खिलाफ ये पूरी एफआईआर दर्ज की गई थी उसमें से बारामती एग्रो ये कंपनी है जिसके खिलाफ ये मामला जो है वो दर्ज किया गया था उस मामले में आज रोहित पवार को लगभग 11 घंटे तक उनसे पूछताछ की गई दरअसल जो आरोप लग रहे हैं वो ये लग रहे हैं कि जो महाराष्ट्र स्टेट कोऑपरेटिव बैंक ने महाराष्ट्र की कई जो बीमारू पड़ी हुई चीनी मिले थी उसका ऑप्शन कराया था उसमें कहीं ना कहीं रिगिंग की गई है उसमें कहीं ना कहीं खोल किया गया है ये एक बड़ा आरोप जो है वो लगाया गया था और उसी सिलसिले में आज रोहित पवार से यहाँ पर लगभग 11 घंटों तक पूछताछ हुई है इस दौरान मैं आपको बता दूं कि लगातार जो एनसीपी के कार्यकर्ता और खास तौर से जो रोहित पवार के समर्थक है वो एनसीपी दफ्तर के बाहर लगातार नारेबाजी करते रहे जो मुंबई के बलाकपियर इलाके में ईडी का दफ्तर है ठीक उसके पीछे एनसीपी का मुख्य कार्यालय यहाँ पर है और वहाँ पर लगातार ये घोषणाबाजी होती रही Ranak, uh, do we know what was the line of questioning? What was he asked? Ajit, देखिए जो जानकारी पूछी गई, जो हमें सूत्र बता रहे हैं कि लगभग चार ईडी के वरिष्ठ अधिकारियों ने ये जानने की कोशिश की कि जो रिगिंग के आरोप लग रहे हैं, उसमें उनके पास क्या दस्तावेज़ है कि वो ये बता सके कि रिगिंग इस मामले में नहीं हुई है। और जो जानकार चीजों को सेटिस्फाई नहीं कर पाए हैं इसीलिए उन्हें एक फरवरी को फिर एक बार समझ किया गया है और एक फरवरी को फिर एक बार उन्हें इन्वेस्टिगेशन जॉइन करना होगा। Right, uh, interesting there, and one can see the kind of support he has among the locals. His supporters have been constantly wa waiting uh, for over last 11 hours for Rohit Pawar to come out after. ED's interrogation. Of course, uh, my colleague uh, Ronak uh, tells us that he has been recalled on 1st of February. Moving on, the unity of India opposition bloc has suffered back-to-back -back setbacks within hours with the Ahmadmi party declaring that it will be it will contest all Lok Sabha seats in Punjab. Shortly after Trinamool Chief Mamta Banerjee ruled out any alliance with Congress in West Bengal, both Bengal and Punjab uh, attacks and counter-attacks between the Congress and the ruling party have continued unabated over the past few months despite claims of unity at India meetings. Another day of the Bharat Joro Nya Yatra for Rahul Gandhi, but the Congress's crucial allies appear to be walking away. Just months before the crucial Lok Sabha election. In a double whammy for the party, crucial India bloc allies, Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee and Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Man. announced that there would be no tie-up for the TMC and Ahmadmi party with the Congress for the election. In Bengal, Mamta Banerjee is reportedly furious at the Congress's local leadership, particularly Lok Sabha MP Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary, the state unit boss, who is fiercely opposed to an alliance with the Trinamool and has repeatedly attacked Mamata Banerjee. The Bengal Chief Minister also hit out at Congress MP Rahul Gandhi and his Bharat Joro Nyayatra. Yatra. 
তখন থেকে আমাদের দল সিদ্ধান্ত নিয়েছে আমরা বাংলায় একা চলব ইভেন ওরা যে আজ থেকে র্যালি করেছে আমাদের একবার অফ কার্সি আমি ইন্ডিয়ার অ্যালায়েন্স আমাকে একবার জানিয়েছে দিদি আপনার রাজ্যে যাচ্ছি না জানাই সুতরাং আমার সাথে কোনো সম্পর্ক নেই বাংলার ব্যাপার 24 hours ago so to say Mamta Banerjee told party men that the Congress was making an unjustified demand of contesting from at least 10 to 12 seats in West Bengal. She told the party men she had offered the party two seats that it already held pointing to its abysmal performance of four seats in 2014 and just two seats in the last election in 2019. Responding to Mamta Banerjee's outburst, top Congress leaders claimed differences with the TMC would be sorted out. Mamta Banerjee is the senior most leader of India Alliance Party. We are respectfully saying that if there is any concern in her mind, we will try and we will discuss and settle it. Here and there, there may be some issues. Finally, we will follow every issues. We are ready to address out that things. But hours later, a back-to-back -back setback. With the Aam Aadmi Party reiterating that it will contest all 13 Lok Sabha seats in Punjab. Desh mein Punjab bane ka hero. 2024 mein Lok Sabha chunaam mein Aam Aadmi Party ke paksh mein 13 jiro. Dekho je to unka kaam hai. Ye mamta bhi. Nain nain koi baat nain wo. हो सकता है कोई उनके साथ बातचीत चल रही हो उस लेवल पे लेकिन पंजाब में हम ऐसा नहीं करने वाले पंजाब में कांग्रेस से मरा कुछ The decision by Aam Aadmi Party and Trinamool to go solo in their strongholds needs to be seen against the backdrop of the persistent tussle between the Congress and regional forces in India bloc. While regional parties, specifically the Trinamool, Aam Aadmi Party and the Samajwadi Party have repeatedly demanded the leading role in their bastions, the Congress has pushed for a bigger pie during seat-sharing talks at the state level. The big question now, how can the India bloc sort out the seat-sharing mess? With Mohammad Ghazali in Chandigarh, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV. Political rhetoric over the decision to award ex-Bihar Chief Minister and OBC leader Karpuri Thakur a posthumous Bharat Ratna less than three months before the general election ramped up on Wednesday. With Bihar Chief Minister uh, Nitish Kumar thanking the Modi government for the award while his alliance partner in RJD making a blunt attack on the BJP over the award. In sab logo ko hum anurodh karte rahe, likhte rahe ki bhai janna hai Karpuri Thakur ji ka भारत रत्न प्रदान किया जाए अभी लोग नहीं करते थे लेकिन कल कर दिया है तो मुझे खुशी है मैं इसके लिए केंद्र सरकार को और प्रधानमंत्री जी को भी मैं बधाई देता हूं कि उन्होंने स्वीकार कर लिया इन रेयर जेस्टर नीतीश कुमार थैंकिंग प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी फॉर द भारत रत्न टू फॉर्मर बिहार चीफ मिनिस्टर कर्पूरी ठाकुर कंसिडर द आर्किटेक्ट ऑफ ईबीसी पॉलिटिक्स इन द कंट्री Nitish's stance has led to speculation of yet another churn in Bihar politics. Mr. Kumar, while addressing an extremely backward caste conference in Patna to mark Karpuri Thakur's birth centenary celebrations, refrained from attacking the central government. उनको भारत रत्न प्रदान करने के लिए तो हम तो शुरू से कह रहे हैं 2007 से लेकर के आई 2023 तक हर साल पहले कांग्रेस की सरकार या और की सरकार बाद में अभी जो सरकार है इन सब लोगों को हम अनुरोध करते रहे लिखते रहे कि भाई जन्ना है कर्पूरी ठाकुर जी का भारत रत्न प्रदान किया जाए अभी लोग नहीं करते थे नीतीश अलायंस पार्टनर इन बिहार दी आर जे डी वॉज मोर ब्लंट इन इट्स अटैक ऑन द बीजेपी calling the award for Mr. Thakur too little, too late, and claiming the BJP would fail in its attempt to woo EBCs, seen to side with the Nitish Lalu combined in past elections. The party also raked up the caste census in its response. Two and a half years ago, our Tejaswi Ji had done this in a full way. It was so much of a struggle with the Prime Minister, that we had done the work of the Jatigat, then we had done the work of the Jatigat, and then we had done the work of the Jatigat. इसे नौवीं सूची में शामिल करके वो सही श्रद्धांजलि होगी नहीं तो भारत रत्न सांकेतिक लगेगा माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी अति पिछड़ों की लड़ाई लड़ने वाले कर्पूरी जी को 
एक दूसरे अति पिछड़े के बेटे नरेंद्र मोदी ने भारत रत्न की उपाधि से सम्मानित करने का काम किया है लालू यादव नीतीश कुमार मांग करते थे कि भारत रत्न दिया जाए लेकिन जब स्वयं केंद्र में मंत्री थे तो क्यों नहीं दिलवा पाए और आज वो काम नरेंद्र मोदी ने कर दिखा दिया सेलिब्रेशन एट दी होम ऑफ कर्पूरी ठाकुर इन समस्तीपुर आफ्टर दी अवार्ड फॉर मिस्टर ठाकुर The BJP is expected to woo non Yadav OBCs both in Bihar and UP with this news. But the big question now, can the BJP derive any political advantage? With Manish Kumar and Maria Shakil Bureau Report NDTV. So there was unprecedented security in Manipur's capital Imphal today for a crucial meeting between Arambai Tengal a powerful local group and ministers MLAs from the valley region of Manipur the meeting was held at Imphal's Kangla Fort the seat of power of the erstwhile uh, kingdom of Manipur days after over a dozen people were killed in a renewed flare up of violence in the state my colleague Ratnadeep Chaudhary brings us this report Unprecedented security today outside the historic Kangla Fort in Manipur's capital Imphal. The influential Maithi group Arambai Tengal, which has the support of over 50,000 volunteers, called for this meeting with the MLAs and ministers to discuss the roadmap to a lasting peace in the state. According to sources the Maithi group has raised certain demands like the implementation of NRC in Manipur with 1951 as the base year they also want the ceasefire agreement with the Kukizo groups to be scrapped they also want replacement of Assam rifles by any other central force they also want the Myanmar's refugees in Manipur to be shifted to neighboring Mizoram and they have also raised the contentious demand of delisting of certain Kukizo tribal groups from the scheduled tribe list in Manipur the meeting comes at a time when opposition parties in Manipur including the main opposition congress have criticized the center and the Biden Singh led government for not telling the public that article 355 of the constitution has been invoked since the communal clashes in the state began in May 3 last year article 355 allows the union to assume control of the state's law and order enforcement without dismissing the state government and is a step beneath president's rule being invoked uh, those assam rifle in more kachin and uh, impal west district they should be replaced by a neutral force with uh, proper uh, uh, advice and guidance kukizo groups vehemently oppose any move to remove the assam rifles from the state and also object to the meeting between rm by tengal and central representatives it is very clear that just it is it is just a cooked up stories that the uh the mls the 35 mls are taking the uh, on these decisions we have with the tribals have full faith in the central security forces we feel that they are maintaining uh total neutrality with bm sanju in imphal in guwahati ratnadeep chaudhary point tv Now the union cabinet on Wednesday adopted a resolution congratulating Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the successful consecration ceremony at a Ram temple in Ayodhya saying he has fulfilled a centuries old dream of the people as soon as the cabinet met uh, in the capital uh, defense minister Rajnath Singh read out a resolution on behalf of his ministerial colleagues he said that Wednesday's cabinet was a historic one Well time now for a quick break on the show more on the other side stay tuned Some international news now Donald Trump won the key New Hampshire primary on Tuesday moving him ever closer to locking in the Republican presidential nomination and securing an extraordinary White House rematch with Joe Biden Donald Trump was already the runaway leader in national Republican polling despite two impeachments as president and four criminal trials hanging over him since leaving office. Well, Nikki Haley repeatedly questioned the 77-year-old's mental fitness and warned another Trump presidency would bring chaos. Polls indicate that her efforts in New Hampshire created little more than a speed bump 
to her campaign. A Trump-Biden face-off in the 2024 U.S. presidential election seems increasingly likely. With Trump registering a second Republican primary win in New Hampshire, with his main contender for the Republican nomination, Nikki Haley, trailing in second place. You know, we won New Hampshire three times now, three. three. We win it every time. We win the primary, we win the generals, we've won it. Haley halted at a single-digit nine delegates in New Hampshire, while Trump stayed in double digits, adding 12 delegates. His total tally at the moment is nearly double that of Haley's. I want to congratulate Donald Trump on his victory tonight. Well, I'm a fighter. And I'm scrappy. And now we're the last one standing next to Donald Trump. And today we got close to half of the vote. We still have a ways to go. But we keep moving up. Nevada, Michigan and South Carolina primaries are lined up next. All of which went Trump's way last time round. So is the Trump-Biden match a given? Or does Haley have any rabbits to pull out of her hat? Bureau Report, NDTV.